Hello everyone. The today's topic of discussion is log to full change to percentage calculations. So in terms of bioinformatics, this is very important. If you have gone through the other tutorials that you have, you must have seen these figures, the bulk on plots. So you see the full change in there and we define that the differentially expressed genes which is positive or negative uh, changes we have found in there in the treatment group in comparison of the control that comes with a log fold change scale from in here like 0 to 5 fold and more and negatively 0 to minus 5 fold and minus 10. Now there could be lots of confusion and the people may have doubt on the percentage of like what does this log fold actually means in terms of percentage change because if you do a wet lab experiment you are probably presenting your data as a in percentage or log fold change barely in log to fold change so to talk about that let's go through this tutorial will will be mostly speaking about converting the positive log to fold change to the percentage change so let's see if we have the positive log fold change which means that's in comparison of control group your treatment group certain gene expression has increased and that means it's higher in there and to convert a positive log full change to percentage we need a formula and the standard formula is percentage change equal to 2 to the power log to full change minus 1 into 100 let's go through a demo where we talk about it for example, let's take here log to full change. Let's make it bigger too. Let's take a positive log full change. We think that positive log full change is there. And according to our formula, what we will do? First, we convert it to the log full change to log full change. Which is 2 to the power. Now we want to convert into percentage change. So the formula for percentage change is this value, it will go this one minus one. to 100 so you see 300 percent increase we go 3 this axel is doing okay that's not probably the best one more. So there's a mistake in here. We should do it on this way. 
to stick it in here and we just didn't take the formula this is done and if you take one so you can see one log to full change it is a hundred percent in reach in percentage I hope this is clear now the next part is we'll go for the negative fault change so you can see on this Balkano plot you have the negative log to fault change minus 5 to minus 10 so negative log fault change means that when we are comparing the negative uh, treatment group against the control group you see these genes are down regulated after the treatment and for better understanding if you see just a negative block for change means gene expression is lower in test group in comparison of control group and to calculate this negative block fold change we'll do this simple formula 1 minus 2 to the power minus log to fold change into 100 let me show it into the data with a practical demonstration so let's see this is minus one and in here for what we do at the very first so we do the log full change conversion so let's take two We do the same here, which is two to the power three half twenty five, and then the formula is little bit changed in here. What we will do according to the formula that we have seen is one minus this value into hundred. So we will do one minus this value into hundred. So it's seventy five percent decrease in here. Let's take one negative one and copy this one. 50 percent discount the same thing if you want Spin. So if you look at this carefully, the positive one fold change means 100% change and positive five fold change means 3100 change. Negative one fold change is 50% change and negative five fold change is 96.8% change. Now look at this figure and let's interpret it. So this is positive five fold change. So change in here at thirty one hundred percent increased in percentage. And this is negative five fold change, like PDCL three. So we have ninety six point eight percent, eight seven percent decrease. This is how the calculation is done. I hope this will help you on this. And if you want to generate the bulk analytic data analysis, we have tutorials. It's, it will be helpful for you. We'll be generating more of single cell analysis and other data sequentially. Thank you.